So Dave, how long have you, have you been involved in the transport industry? Uh, just on 30 years now. It's been uh, a long hard road. Yeah, you started off as a driver? Yes, I did. Um, just a local courier driver in uh, Sydney and built my way through the industry. Okay, and, and uh, you, you've obviously you've gone right through to, to, to be road train qualified. I believe you've got a dangerous goods licence. Yes. So there's, there's really, there's not many facets of the industry that you haven't been involved no, in during I've your actually, time as a, as a driver. I've had my hand in um, every area of the industry, or from uh, groceries through to fuel to containers, um, cart and bricks, pylons, uh, every, anything that can be done in the industry, I've pretty much had a go at it. So why the change from driving to teaching? I uh, come about a few years ago, um, everybody gets to the stage where you've had enough of driving, um, you, you too, you too um, spend too much time on the road, uh, away from the family, the family grows up without you, you really want to spend some time with them. It's, it started to affect me and um, I thought it was time to come off the road, I really didn't know what I wanted to do and I decided to become a trainer and put some of that knowledge I have back into the guys that want to come through and do it. Now, when you say you decided to become a trainer, I mean, it wasn't just a case of filling in a few forms. You sat down and developed a proper training plan to bring people from virtually light rigid all the way through to being a fully qualified multiple combination driver. That's correct. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a program put together for each and every class of license. Um, if the person wants to start off at the, the bottom end of the scale and do light rigid, then we can walk them through from their light rigid through to their MC over a period of a couple of years um, with the knowledge that they're going to get the best and they're going to understand what it takes to drive a truck. What we're trying to achieve is when they go for a job then the companies that employ them understand that they've been trained to drive and they don't have to teach them. They can actually then put them in the job and train them in their job. If you have any problems with reversing, you've got tinted windows or it's a bit dark, take your glasses off. It's going to make it easier to see and more visual. Alright, looking around making sure that we've got continuous mirror visuals at all times. Alright, you don't want to reverse if you can't see the back of your trailer on either side. If you haven't got one side, one side in one of your mirrors, then stop. It's not worth it. Alright, as we go back. Slow, the slower we go and the faster the hands, the more accurate your steering is going to be and the easier it's going to be for you to control the vehicle. Alright, as we go back, checking the mirrors. No feet on the, on the pedals, just let it go. It's not going to go much more than about a kilometre and a half, two kilometres an hour. It's very slow. If you can control the steering and you're looking back at your mirrors, you'll see that the tra back trailer will move. If it decides to move like it is now and it wants to go to the left, then start steering to the right and bring the front trailer across to line up with it. Once they're lined up, straighten your prime mover over. Get your prime mover back in the middle, and if you have to, readjust the other way again. It's all about knowing where the trailer is and when to turn. Don't be too quick trying to do it, and don't try and do it in one move. If we do it in increments and we do five or six moves instead of one, you'll find it a lot easier to move it and a lot quicker. As it goes left, we steer right. Once we get it lined up, we get the prime mover back in line, we can have another look and then go again. Just line it up a bit and then straighten it. All we're trying to do is get the, the two trailers in a straight line and then bring the prime mover back every time. It makes it easier to get to the next move a lot easier, a lot quicker. Beats making a big turn. We don't want to do big turns. If we do a big turn, it's going to take two turns, two big turns to undo it. Once you've done two big turns, it's going to take three to go the other way again. You've already lost control of your truck. It's all over. All right, we're back in line again. We just keep chasing it, keep following it. All right. Once you get it in line, you virtually don't have to do anything. You can actually, you can let the truck go. Let the trailers just go on their way, get your truck straight, and they'll stay in line. There should not be a reason why you want to turn the steering wheel. You don't need to touch it if it's just going straight. If it decides to go one way, turn the opposite way and bring it back. Make the front trailer come across, line up with the back trailer, 
and then straighten your prime mover up again. That's the key, to get the prime mover back to the middle so you can see down both mirrors and make sure you know where your next move's gonna be. The simple fact that we need to be able to put the truck where we want it, when we want it there, as easy as we can without being too much of a problem everybody else around us. Okay, now you were describing, you've given us a bit of a run through in the cabin about how to go about it, but you've, you, you're also able to break that down a bit. It's not a matter of panicking about which side's going where. How do you, how do you describe it? That's correct. Um, the best way to do it, if you're going to do a manoeuvre or you're, you're anticipating doing something, the best way to do it is just look at what you're doing and do it. If you put too much emphasis on what you're doing, it becomes a nightmare. Right. Okay. So if we break it down and we just work on it step by step, easy as it, easy as it comes, then it becomes an easy task, not a, not a chore. This is probably a, uh, how long is a bit of string question, but how long does it take to learn to reverse a truck? Everybody, everybody's different. Everybody. Um, some people can do it in a matter of hours, some can do it in a matter of weeks. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you really want to get a perfected task out of it, then it's going to take years. Everybody can get the basics. Right. Once you get the basics, it's a matter of learning it and keep your skills up to date. So it's something you've got to practice. You too. do have to practice. Right. It. And look, this is a skill that you obviously you'd expect to have before you got the license, your ticket for a B double. One of the one of the requirements for getting your MC license is you have to be able to show that you are capable of backing up um, an MC vehicle, mainly a, a B double. That's what we do them in um, for a period of uh, a certain distance. Um, it's not so much as backing it up in a straight line, it's a matter of correcting it and understanding what to do during the course of reversing it. Yeah.